Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya here, back with another update on the 100 map game. A couple of things have happened. First of all, um, Southern Rhodesia has taken out a lot of South Africa, and so in order to um, claim any of that territory, I'm going to have to go to war with Southern Rhodesia. That is a problem, because you might have noticed this gathering of troops up here by Portuguese Angola. I reached out to Belgian Congo. Um, Portuguese Angola joined the big coalition up here. Um, and so I reached out to Belgian Congo to ask them, hey, are your relations still good? Because uh, Portuguese Angola is moving a bunch of troops south. And they are now allied with your enemy, uh, Italian Libya. Congo has not responded. I do still have right of way with them, but they have not responded. So I am building a fort here to try to limit um, any attack that may come through, but I am sorely lacking on troops. I am moving most of my troops over to try to help defend, um, but I think what I may do is in order to show them that I don't want to get attacked, I think I might move some troops into... Um, this province just to threaten his back provinces to see what I can do on that front. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and do that now. Um, this, these troops should be good. <clears throat> so they will arrive in six hours. It's just two troops, so it's not going to be that big of a threat, but at least he knows I'm watching him. Um, Again, there's a fort here. I've not been concerned about that fort, but since he has stacked 53 troops in there, I think that it is worth concern. Um, I have eight hours left on this factory before I produce an artillery, um, and I or before I begin producing artillery, and 21 hours on this factory before I begin, begin producing a cruiser. This factory is at 20 hours, which is the day change, uh, before I start producing an artillery. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to spend gold mark on, because I am tempted to spend it here because of this. Um, before I saw that, I wanted to talk to you all about the use of gold marks for factory production. So whenever you produce a factory... Um, the, a well-known trick, and I'll go in here and show you, a well-known trick is to queue up the artillery and a second level factory um, immediately. The reason that you do this, it takes on a level one factory four days to produce an artillery and it takes two days to produce a level two factory. Once the level two factory starts, um, it changes the time that it takes to create artillery to uh, go at the rate of the level two factory, which is two days. So what you end up doing is your artillery is halfway built and you have double the production speed. So instead of two additional days, it takes one additional day. So you get a full 24 hours off of the cycle. It takes you three days to produce your first artillery instead of four days if you immediately begin building a level two factory. <clears throat> when you start adding gold marks in, your efficiency gets a little wonky because as you can't produce a level two factory until um, the two day window, you're not able to produce a level two factory. So for this factory, the factory will finish in eight hours and 28 minutes because I spent gold mark to get it done, but I won't be able to start a level two factory until um, another 20 hours. So I will have a chunk of time there where I'm not able to be producing a building, but I will be producing artillery. What this means is Spending 850 gold marks on artillery or on factories only decreases the time that you are um, waiting by uh, 
six hours instead of 12 hours. Normally it's in 12 hour increments, but it only decreases it by six hours because you can't rely on, or you can't uh, build the next level factory because you have to wait the full 24 hours. So upgrading your factory time uh, with Goldmark, decreasing the time that it takes, is less efficient if you are only building your factory to produce things like artillery. The exception that I'll make with this is with aircraft, because with aircraft, you have to also build a um, 24 hour uh, building, which is the airport. So spending Goldmark for two days and building an airport in that Goldmark time actually increases the, uh, or decreases the time that it will take for you to build fighters and bombers by that full 24 hours because you're using it for build time. What I could do is use Goldmark on the actual artillery piece itself. But again, that is only 50% effective if I use the Goldmark before I have finished the level two factory. If I have a level two factory and I spend Goldmark to rush the artillery piece, then I have a full 12 hour window um, that has been reduced. So instead of it taking, um, <clears throat> instead of it taking three days, it will take two days and 12 hours. So all that being said, um, spending gold mark on rushing factories only gains you approximately, um, six hours instead of 12 on your artillery pieces, which is a big deal. But if we are going to limit Goldmark spend to only do it when it is the most effective, then that is not the most effective way to do it. So I've talked myself into, since I've seen this, I've talked myself into, I'm going to go ahead and build a fort here. Um, and I'm going to keep some Goldmark in reserve. I have 155 to spend left today. Um, and we will see what happens here with Portuguese Angola. They are the most dreaded, so I did go ahead and um, embargo them because they're most dreaded. I will reach out to them and see where, why they are stacking troops up on my border when they have been at war up in the north. And we'll just see what happens. Um, this may be the end of this game. It may not. Um, I've, I've had, I had the big concern down here now South Africa's cut off. I can't get that territory. It's free and open territory that I don't have access to. But I'm also about to likely be at war with yet another uh, player. Um, and I don't have the troops to sustain a long-term fight at this point. Um, and I was originally going to Goldmark here. I think I might even cancel the cruiser there to um, secure more funds for artillery pieces because this is going to be a land war, um, assuming that we are going to war here. That is where we are at right now. Uh, if you want to continue to see how this turns out and see if I can pull out some sort of miracle, I really hope I can. But uh, if you want to see how this all turns out, uh, subscribe so that you can see when my videos release. Again, I don't anticipate doing an everyday video forever for this. I would like to take a break every once in a while, but there is, there's so much that's happened. Um, mistakes that I have made that have led to interesting situations um, that uh, I've, I've done one every day thus far. So uh, perhaps uh, there'll be one out tomorrow, but if there's not, being a subscriber helps you know exactly when my videos are coming out. Um, other than that, Solideo Gloria, and I'll see you next time.